Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. A callback URL is typically used in transactions that have asynchronous processing, such as claims, in order to be notified when the activity state changes. That added security measure validates that the callback URL provided in the request is the same as the callback URL information in the application details. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. A webhook URL is provided by the receiving application, and acts as a phone number that the other application can call when an event happens. Only it's more complicated than a phone number, because data about the event is sent to the webhook URL in either JSON or XML format. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. You'd first open your invoice app, make an invoice template, and copy its webhook URL, something like yourapp.com slash data slash 12345. Then open your e-commerce store app, and add that URL to its webhook settings. That URL is your invoice app's phone number, essentially. Make your mark, take our lead. To be able to set up a callback URL your website must use the HTTPS protocol. First log in to you Facebook developers account and open your application. From the sidebar menu select, add product, and then, webhooks. From the drop down menu select, application, and then click on the, subscribe to this topic, button. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.